This video follows on from the previous video on how to set up Google two-step verification. And this video is going to show you how you use two-step verification with a tablet or an iPad or phones, Windows phone, an iPhone, an Android phone, or a Mac computer. So I have set up two-step verification. So I'm going to sign into my Google account, my Gmail account. And go up to the to the top right there where my account is or my picture is and select accounts and into security so two-step verification is enabled and I now want to change those settings and so you can check and see what you have got there for your settings so I have my primary number where codes will be sent to me on that number my backup number if my primary number is unavailable and I've also generated some codes if I haven't got any phones available but now we're going to app specific passwords there are many applications that can't use two-step verification and you have to set a specific password for that application to get your to get it to work for example if I wanted to use mail on my iPad uh, and I try to add my mail account to my iPad and I put in my Gmail address and I put in my password it's not going to let me do it it won't accept that password I have to have a application specific password just for mail on the iPad that I enter once so I've got my iPad here and I'd like to add my Gmail account to my iPad so to do that I go into settings mail contacts calendars and I add an account and it's a Google account so let's just put in the settings so I put in all the settings I put in my normal Google password and now I tap next and it's verifying the account and because I've got two-step verification turned on it's not allowing me to enter that password there are some apps that just don't accept that two-step verification and you need to generate an app specific password for that particular application so I have to say okay I'm going to go back to my Google settings so in uh, two-step verification in app specific passwords and then click manage application specific passwords so I need to select an app and, and a device and then generate an app specific password so in select app I'm selecting mail and on the device iPad and then click generate an app password and it's this password here that I have to enter when I'm adding the mail account to the iPad so I've got both up at the moment the iPad up on the left and the app specific password on the right and what I need to do is go into the iPad and delete the original Google password and then type in this 16 character password you can if, if you were doing this on a computer you could copy and paste but on the uh, a different device you actually have to type it in so you need to be careful so that's typed in now all I have to do is tap next and hopefully it will verify that account which it has all the ticks there and then I can turn on and off those uh, elements of that mail account and then save so that accounts now added you can see here in at that point there there's the account so I can go out of the settings into mail and there's Linda Barron's Gmail and all those messages will start to come down so that was only needed to be done once now on the computer back in the computer you then click done and now you've got that mail on my iPad specific passwords you don't need to see the password because if you've used it you don't have to worry about it anymore if for any reason you want to delete that mail account or something occurs with the iPad you lose it or it's stolen then you just revoke it and then that mail becomes useless it won't work and then when you we finished you just do done then you're back at your settings anytime you want to add new ones you just go into uh, two-step verification settings 
then you'll have to log in again with your normal Google password. And then go into app specific passwords and then manage them. So you can add new ones or revoke existing ones and you can do other as well. So it might be, it gives you some already there, but there may be an application that you've got that just won't work with Google verification. It will be an other. You might have to generate an app specific password for that. You can do this for any of the apps in this list. So if I wanted to set up calendar on the iPad, I would need an app specific password for that application and contacts. YouTube, I found you, you don't need to do it for YouTube. YouTube will send you a text code. So let's look at set up mail on my, and I've got a Mac computer, so I need to set up the mail app on my Mac computer. So I'm going to generate a code. Log into my account again. So do that again. So if it's been left for a few minutes, I haven't touched the settings for 10, 20 minutes, so it's uh, ensuring that it's secure by asking me to log in again. So here's the password. Now on the computer, I can actually copy this one and paste it into my mail account. On the tablet, I couldn't, I had to type it in. So go to mail and Add an account. We're adding a Google account. Continue. And putting in the details of the account. And now I can actually paste that password. So I'm going to paste it rather than type it and then set up. So that's now set up mail on the Mac computer and then I can indicate whether I want any of these other services associated with my account. So I just click done. And that sets up the mailbox. And so you can see all the, the messages have just come in for, for Linda, but I need to change the title. So I'm going to edit and just call it something different. Linda's Gmail. And now I've added it to my Mac computer. And then done here. So when we look back in the Gmail settings, security settings, you can see which applications you have set up app specific passwords for. So at any time you need to see what your app passwords are or to check anything in your Google account, you go up to your, your picture, if you've got one, and into accounts. And then you've got all these tabs across here where you can change things. And so security, go into settings, log in again for security. And this is where you can change all your settings. So your primary way to receive codes, your backup options, any other codes your app specific passwords so you can manage them here. So, so the next video we're actually going to have a look at how to use the Google Authenticator app to um, manage your two-step verification. So that's all for this video.